Hi, my name is Adam Grayson, and I'd like to show you a setup that I used in Maya to help me in creating the minimap for Grapple. So what you're seeing now is an aerial view of the second section of the game. And what I was originally going to do was just trace the border of the mountains and the buildings, but there was one main problem, and it was this big platform. If I just trace the border of this platform, then I would be cutting off a lot of the level, and if Amina were to go under it, it would look like she's going through the border of the level. The same thought occurred for all of the multi-story buildings, especially since the game used so much verticality. If I were using the building's lower roof as its border and Amina got onto the roof, then it would look like she was breaching the walls of the building. Similarly, if I used the building's top roof as its border and players ran into the bottom of the building, then it would look like the minimap was wrong because according to it, there was no wall there. So one idea I had was to draw different borders for different elevations and somehow combine them later. And in order to do that, I needed to adjust the far and near clip plane of the camera. However, the problem with that is that there's no easy way to really adjust the clip planes. I had to do a lot of guessing at values, and it got very tedious very fast. So what I ended up doing was creating two planes that were tied to the near and far clip plane of the camera via expressions, essentially allowing me to translate the near and far clip planes directly. Additionally, I was now able to visualize where the clip planes actually were, which made it much easier in isolating different parts of the map that I wanted to draw. So by moving the two planes up and down, I was able to get the outlines of a certain elevation without the outlines of objects above or below that elevation occluding the lines that I wanted.